Hi Nisha, welcome to International Youth Hostel. Uh, this is a hostel run by YHA, uh, which has uh, many hostels throughout India. And uh, this is one of the uh, major hostels which were inaugurated in 2017. And uh, it has very good facilities which have been provided by YHA. So YHA was founded uh, with the main objective of uh, providing youth with uh, affordable uh, accommodation those who love to travel around uh, to explore places in a budgeted uh, uh, way. Okay. So that was the main concept of YHA. And later on, we got into a lot of outdoor activities also, like uh, trekking, biking, cycling, and uh, mountaineering also. See, this is the uh, hostel here. We have a reception here. Okay. And uh, this is a lobby here. Here we have a dining area which can seat around 60 people. It's a 70 seater uh, restaurant. And we have a home kitchen. Yeah, people can have food, uh, very healthy food. Uh, it is made on order basis. So whatever they want, they can order it. So all the inmates can uh, order food here. And uh, it's simple vegetarian food basically. And provided, uh, non veg is also provided on call basis. Yeah, massage chair, so people can get a uh, bit uh, rejuvenated after a uh, break or a session break. 60 rupees for 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, it re really rejuvenates you after a long day of hard work. Cool. Here, we have cycles for INH who can, uh, they can rent it out uh, from here and explore myself. We also conduct uh, cycling uh, camps and trips throughout uh, Mysore. Mysore and Chennai. Okay. So on the first floor, we have a conference hall which can seat around 200 people. So that's what we use for conferences, meetings and other things. We also give it out for uh, wedding occasions or any get-togethers. This is one of the dormitories which we have. We have around 16 dormitories here. Okay. So you can come and have it. Each dormitory has around 7 beds. And the tariff is 300 rupees, just 300 rupees a night. Including of the complimentary breakfast. Okay. And each dormitory has an attached toilet. <laughs> A space on the uh, ground floor. This is a basically a badminton court and a parking space here. Uh, we have a facility which the hostel is a uh, ground floor plus three, three floors. We have a lift facility for to all the floors, so even the elderly people can uh, use the facility. The hostel has installed a 40 kV solar, so basically we are very environment friendly. So we basically produce most of the electricity we are what we are using. And even we give it out to the grid which is excess. And uh, our kitchen uses most of the green uh, vegetables which are grown in-house in the hostel. Okay. Uh, so you have uh, vegetables which are fresh and uh, very, very uh, nutritious. So if you are a guy who is travelling across Pan India, you can become a member of YHA 
and use of facilities uh, which are provided by YHI throughout India. This is one of the facilities of YHI. So we have such facilities throughout India like Delhi, uh, Leh, and uh, we have an, uh, around uh, 60 licensing youth hostels which is controlled by OHA. You, you can use those facilities also, provided you are a member of OHA. So those who are traveling around uh, India or abroad also, they can use the OHA facilities. So you are here for vacation? Not vacation exactly, but we are on a gap year. Okay. So uh, me, my wife, and our, our son. So I am from Gujarat basically. Okay. And we have been traveling to different parts of the country. So we have taken a year off from this. Uh, oh, that's February. great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you are traveling within the India only, or you are planning for? Uh, no, India only. India. Only India. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There are so there are so many things to see in India. Yeah. yeah. So I am based in Gujarat. Uh, mm -hmm. So actually. Uh, I am a doctor actually, and my wife is a physiotherapist. Okay. So uh, I left my job in January. Then there was this COVID second wave, so I could not go anywhere. And uh, so I was in Gujarat for three months initially. So basically, this is kind of a mixed uh, uh, thing, not just traveling. I wanted to explore different organizations who are doing grassroots work, and so I went to such places. I worked with them for some time. And for last two three months, we are just traveling. So first was in Gujarat itself in Anandoli. I went to an organization called Tribondas Foundation for three months. Uh, then as the COVID wave started receding, we uh, went to a place called uh, uh, Nithawa in Dungarpur in Rajasthan, in su southern Rajasthan. Okay. So it's a tribal location uh, in a hilly uh, part there. We, uh, we stayed there and we worked for three months. It was kind of an informal arrangement where we were trying to understand their lifestyle, their health issues and uh, we were stationed at a PHC or the uh, primary health center. So then we went to, uh, we came back, we spent some time in Gujarat, in different parts of Gujarat. Uh, then we went to Mathura, uh, Gokul Mathura. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Delhi. Uh, then we, we, from Gujarat we were on a road trip. So we drove to Goa. We okay. came, to, we went to Goa. Then Chitradurg, then Bangalore, and then Puti, and now. Oh, Mysore. that's great. But, uh, yeah, I am from Chitradurg actually. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, Mathuru, I think? Yeah, yes. No, okay. Oh. Yeah. I'm a member of YHAI for almost three, three, four, five years actually. Uh, I had gone uh, in 2016, I started with uh, this uh, cycling trek to, uh, uh, I forget the name. Jalori Pass, yeah. I okay. went to Jalori Pass bus, and then I became a member, then I have been staying at my youth hostel. In Delhi, we stayed at youth hostel when we were in Delhi. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Hi, so my name is Adrian. Um, I came to Mysore uh, to practice uh, yoga and to write my book. And I've been here already four or five years ago. I love the country. And because of the culture and the yoga that I've learned there and uh, I came here to write my book and so I landed in the youth hostel yesterday. It's a really cool place because I can see both Indians and Westerners because India is so different. Than, um, there is the, 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 the yoga the, and you can have contact with so many people, tourist people. I didn't came here for that, I came here for the yoga. But then, this is also good to have people who speak a lot in English, you know? And so gradually I'm trying to learn, you know, some of the more Indian culture, but the difference is so wide, but I want to learn about it. 